All right, I'm gonna try this shit again. Here we are. Here we are again. Yeah, new fucking episode again. <laughs> Fucking episode again. So we uh we had started the episode and then something happened with our shit and it stopped recording. So that's pretty great. That was fun. Uh, yeah. good time. I would rate that an A plus. Um, so just to break down what happened earlier. Um, what did we even talk about? I think I blacked out. So, Anna choked me. I will never. Fu- I did. I did choke him. He was saying some dumb shit again. Then, then. Why the fuck did I add that word? I don't know why you added that word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And then uh, Anna wanted a a three bedroom apartment. I mean, a one bedroom apartment <laughs> with three cats because uh, um, she's I sad. To get like a little one bedroom for myself. And um, get three cats. Wow, that fucking sounds like a great time. Why well, would get one cat? Because of the have saddest two thing ever. <laughs> fuck you. No. And that's doesn't not have what access happened. to kryptonite because I'm Superman. Not what happened. And I'm faster and I'm bigger and I'm stronger and I can prevent you from touching that thing. You know I'm allergic to kryptonite. I'm obviously Superman. Um, okay, so I'll fucking get some kryptonite and I'll shove it down your throat. How's that? You don't know. You don't have access to kryptonite. You don't know that. I do know that. You don't know that. I know that for a fact because you know how I know that because you would go, you would get a small one bedroom apartment with three fucking cats and fucking kryptonite. So that's oh, my how, walls are gonna be lined with kryptonite, so you can't. That's get how in. I know you don't have access. My to walls. Kryptonite. My ceilings and my floors are lined with kryptonite so if that you, you it cannot get in because you will die. One, I do have access to kryptonite. She does not because A wants he a one bedroom apartment no, with three cats. So he has no Yo, idea. Anna, it's crazy. Anna, wait, Anna? Anna? Listen. I don't want to wait, 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 contribute listen, listen. to the bullshit wait, wait, that's Anna, going on listen, to listen. my left. Yo, look, look. To my left, there is just a blob of just wait, Anna. Listen, your person spewing you want bullshit. You know how radioactive material spews. You um, want three cats. Electrons or like gamma You're rays sad. or whatever. Um, Gilmar spews bullshit from all directions of his body. You want... He sp- it, it, it radiates off of him. And he- just like real radioactive material, it's dangerous for your health. And honestly, I should remove myself from the situation. You want one bedroom apartment with three cats? And Sounds like a good sad. life to me. You said You don't have access to kryptonite. You said Guys, I can't wait. Dude, I can fucking hear you. With my kryptonite, it's going to be great because he thinks I don't have it and he has no idea what's coming. Also, what I said was that I'm no longer, um, I no longer really have a hate towards hairless cats. Yes, he does. Um, If you own one, cool, but I don't want one myself. But he doesn't hate them. But I don't hate them. Which is movement in the right direction. Yeah, because. me getting a hairless cat. Because as we said, when we were at at our friend Renee's house, she had a hairless cat. And he or she decided that Gilmar was the best person in the room out of like the six or eight of us that were in there. She claimed Gilmar. Chose me because I'm a was a man. Pause not going through. We already went through this. Pause a man. We're not going through this again. Stop saying the p word. Pause a man. I'll turn you back on when you deserve it. So, guys. Anyway. <laughs> I have two hands. You have one. Therefore, I am superior, and you do not have. Yeah. To by the way, my other arm did get chopped off. Just kidding. It's right here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Good Fuck one. you guys, bitch. Good one, bitch. Oh, but yeah, uh, Anna and I got the. Oh yeah. Got the place we the were. The apartment. Yeah. It's boy. not really an apartment. It's no, like it's a, it's an entire house. Yeah, it's like yeah. a town home, I guess. It's a town. Yeah, it's a row home. A row home. Yeah. A row home. Three story ass row home. Three story ass. Bitch, fucking yeah. lined with kryptonite, so Gilmar can't get inside. Bro, we got, just kidding. <laughs> we got room on room on. You know what? I take back what I said about kryptonite, just because you're not Superman, and I don't want to enable you into thinking that at all. Well, I don't want to enable the bullshit going on. To my well, left. well. If you stop fucking laughing like that, well, are you gonna cough up a hairball? You look like my cat. When well, she's well, like, well, hold on, wait, well. Um, stop. Soup. What, are you gonna throw up? I'm. Um, wait, I'm. Um, what are you doing? That was the. That's the. Wow, I can't believe you just did that. I'm so embarrassed to know. I me. Guys, hey, single on the market. Um, hit me up. Looking for specifically a one bedroom, small one bedroom with three cats. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that'd be ah, sick. So sad. If you're, a, if you're uh, not small, you but sick. if you're looking for a one bedroom, or if, wait, what the fuck am I trying to say? If you are a one bedroom. <laughs> And there's you have one cat, or you are one cat, or you. What the fuck's going on here? The point is, is that if I wasn't with Gilmar, <laughs> I would live in a one bedroom apartment, and I would have three cats. I already have two. 
So in other words, she'd be sad. <laughs> and a lot of plants. So I wouldn't be sad. I would just be yeah, living. The sad. year that I spent living alone was the best year of my life. And you are now making me miserable. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck you. Um, no, it was, it was really like living on your own is, I would suggest it to anybody for, even if it's just like a year of just living on your own, like just fucking do it. Just get some cheap ass little apartment and live by yourself it's honestly so peaceful and you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's your space. Do what you want with it. Fucking, if you want to, I don't know, fucking grow weed, do it. If you want to make meth, do it. If you want to like get naked, walk around and eat spaghetti on your floor at like, I don't know, 8 a.m., do it. Do whatever you want. If you want, if you wake up and you're like, hey, you know what I want to do? I want to walk around naked at 8 a.m., and I want to eat spaghetti. Cold. Cold spaghetti at 8 a.m. while you're naked. You can fucking do that, man. You can do whatever you want. And your significant other is not going to get up and be like, Anna, what are you doing? Put that spaghetti down. That's disgusting. We left that out on the counter overnight. Stop eating that. Put on some clothes. The point is, is that... She's sad. <sighs> Gilmore makes me so mad. I, I literally don't know how to contain my rage. You know, I wasn't even paying attention at all. It's like specifically wait, wait, wait. during I this podcast. I wasn't paying attention at all to anything you're saying, and I could still say sad, and it makes sense. So there's that. So, um. It didn't make any sense, but whatever you want to. Anyway, you moving tell on. Yourself. We, we did get that place, and, you know, high five because we fucking no, killing you're it. you're making me mad. And then. That um, was fucking sad. You want to talk about sad high fiving yourself? Wait, wait, wait. What's sadder, a one bedroom, three cats, or high fiving yourself? High fiving your fucking self, dude. No, it's a the scale. The peace and it's quiet. A scale. It's a scale. You get living in a one, but just because you are not comfortable living by yourself doesn't mean that other people are not. How the fuck do you know if I'm not comfortable living by myself? Because you will not live by, by yourself ever. I think living by yourself is cool. It's just when you add three cats into the equation. What the fuck is it about cats that make people think you're. What if I had a dog? That's different because a, a, dog, a dog is happier than a cat. That's not, I, I don't understand that at all. Dogs are fucking annoying. I'm not going to live with a fucking dog by myself. Sounds like a pain in the ass. Shout out Sarah though. Actually, no, she never lived with a dog by herself. Yeah, for a little bit. For like a month. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she, I think she didn't like living by herself. I enjoy it, but I don't think she really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yo, this shit's not playing on my laptop. I don't know why. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, no. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so I did this. What? Yeah, Am another, I not allowed to yawn? That's another yawn to the compilation. Ah! That's why I was like, You know, that shit coming soon though. I'm a I'ma get everything together, make a compilation of every time Anna yawned. Uh it's gonna be great. Um, so Gerardo and I did this on the bonus episode, by the way. Uh check it out on the fucking Patreon. If you haven't, you should. Yeah, Can sure. everybody see it at this point? Weren't you going to make one of them public? Yeah, I didn't make it public. Uh, are you going to? My, maybe. Maybe. Hmm, interesting. I'm so right. stay tuned for that. You know? Those are really funny when you and Gerardo yeah. make episodes. And you should be on it too because it'd be even funnier. Yeah. So the, the one I we did on. fucking funny. Yeah, Just the kidding. one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> sad. So no, um, yeah, that was sad. Yeah, the, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the one we did on, um, on like the actual. Uh, like an yeah. actual podcast with you and Gerardo, <laughs> that one was really good. So, uh. you know, we should do that more often. Um, so, Gerardo and I did this on the bonus episode where we asked each other hypothetical questions and okay. then answered them. All right, and let's do I, it. I would like to... Uh, what do you mean by hypothetical questions? So, these are all hypotheticals. Like, if if you found a million dollars on the ground, would you take it or something mm. like that, you know? Um, so, I'm going to read ones that Gerardo and I didn't read. Uh, just so it could be a little different. I might... I might uh, Say the same ones over again, but you know, uh, let's start off with this one. Uh, would you rather be a deep sea diver or an astronaut? Astronaut. Wait, ask me again. Would you rather yeah, be an astronaut? A, why astronaut? I think that's obvious. I like space a lot. I really would like to travel to other planets. Um, I think space travel and engineering is really cool. I also uh, really want to study the stars and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with astronaut as well. Deep sea, you know the kind of pressure that's down there? And dude, I am deeply afraid of the ocean. Really? 
Yeah, like deep mm. deep water. Mm, don't like it. I have like a fear of it, like a natural. Every I mean, everybody, yeah, everyone, every yeah. human is. I don't want to know. sound like I'm special because everyone's afraid of that shit. But no, but I, I do feel like your fear extends maybe a little bit further than mine. Maybe you know, like I'm like when we were um, on that boat uh, in Florida. Well, I think that I just got like motion sickness. True. I don't think it was because I was Remember afraid of being out there. Yeah, I was the first one to see it. That should have said. That was fucked up. We that saw was, a shark. That yeah. was a dope ass shark. It was a nurse shark, so it, it wasn't finna do shit to me, but you know. Would you say you're glad that you went out there? Would you have rather stayed behind? No, I'm glad I did that. That's cool. I feel it's something it's something I, I, I needed to experience just yeah. cause because now I can say I've done it. Right. I fucking I've been to the Everglades. I fucking went fucking uh snorkeling in where were we? I don't know, but we were like a half hour, 40 minutes away from the shore. Yeah, the water was so clear. It took like forever to get out there. The water was beautiful and clear. So clear. And Wait, did you say water? What was that? Water. Uh. W-U-D-E-R. Uh. Anyway, yeah, the, the water Sorry, was... <laughs> I'm from Jersey. <laughs> Me too, but... You but you a pussy is fine. Nah, I ain't no pussy. Yeah, you are. You were scared. I yelled at you for saying the P word earlier. So I was I'm born and raised in Trenton, and you was born and raised in fucking Pussyville. Mm, true, bunch, Hamilton. Bunch of pussy. Shout out Hamilton, Pussyville, USA. Bunch of Ew. <laughs> Ew, they're like where I live. I live. Uh, Population me. I live 38 North Weed me, bitch. Street, uh, Pussy Weed Willow 45. Let's tell everybody our address. Um, um <laughs> So, eight, seven, um. But yeah, so <laughs> we went so off topic. I know. All right, deep um, sea diver or astronaut? We both say yeah, astronaut, astronaut because for sure. Deep yep. sea diving is terrifying. Yeah, very yep. kind of terrifying. I'm yeah. not as scared of the deep ocean as you are, but it's definitely. But would def- rather it's not. definitely yeah, it's definitely something I don't want to fuck with. Yeah. Okay. Next. Would you prefer to live in the Sahara or Antarctica? I am gonna choose Antarctica. You want to know why? Wait, actually, you choose yours. <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I could handle either. There's reasons why both of them would be cool. I've always wanted to go to Antarctica because there are certain constellations I can't see from my hemisphere. Although I could just go to South America. But um, it's also kind of like a once in a lifetime chance to live in Antarctica. Plus, there's a lot of research that goes on there. So that's cool. Uh, the Sahara, though, I like like cactus and succulents and that sort of like um aesthetic i guess so maybe i don't know and i feel like i can handle the heat a little bit but i would also need a lot of sunscreen look at me look at me it's I'm crazy <laughs> i can't i can't fucking <laughs> the fucking <laughs> lights just bouncing off of you and i'm just like yeah. fuck um actually well <laughs> well like isn't my skin actually um reflecting more light than absorbing. Yes, yeah, so I said it's the lighter. Yeah, the light is bouncing off. Oh, it's off bouncing of you. off of me. Yeah. It is. It is. That's that's <gasps> ah. um, All right, that was dumb. Yeah, that was fucking okay. stupid. Um, um so give me your your reasons as to why you would rather live in Antarctica. Well, Antarctica because um Well, first of all, it has kind of part of my name in it. And I know you love me. So. Oh, I fucking hate that place. No. no um <laughs> Oh my god. I I want to live there. It's funny because your reasons behind it were just like actual reasons. Oh, you know, there's a lot of research being conducted there. Mine is just because I'd rather be cold than hot. That's mm, my own. That's a reason. solid reason, though, because I mean, I I feel like I don't really have a preference between hot and cold, but some I know a lot of people do, and I know that you really hate the heat. So that's a good. I feel like that's a solid reason. And I'm pretty sure there are less bugs in Antarctica. So. Um, yeah, there's fucking like no life. <laughs> There's penguins. That's a pro. Yeah, and polar yeah. bears that eat your ass first. So eat your ass oh, out. My eat God. the your body. So that's how, that's how I live. And, uh, you know, polar bears. All right, just, so let's move on. <laughs> just polar bears are. Um, if you were to lose. Oh, I don't want to do that one. Um, Wait, go up. What? Go up. Here are the 11 powerful hypothetical questions to ask a girl. Why are these girls? That's stupid. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's so bizarre. But anyway, let's ask the questions because some of them are actually pretty good. All right. If you were going to a famous historical figure dress-up party, who would you go as? Can you answer first? Give me a second. There's a lot of different historical figures. Um, Niels Bohr. Just kidding. He's a scientist. Fuck. I don't see. Johannes Kepler. Nikolai Tesla. Okay. 
I know nothing about Tesla, but I just think that's that's what he's a dope dude. Are you gonna make this the? No, I won't. I might I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about it. Is that a marker? There? Fucking pussy. Um, would you rather live for another sixty years but not be able to leave your house ever again, or live for ten more years and be free to go wherever you wanted? Um, I don't need to leave my house. Really? Yeah. Fuck, I'd rather live 10 more years and go wherever I want to go. Oh. It's just because, you know, in life, you have to live it. You have to experience the magic of Disney. Shout out Disney World. Just because, just kidding, fuck Disney, I've never been there. Um, <laughs> Today, guys, we're sponsored by <laughs> Yeah, right. Yo, that'd be fucking sick if we got a Disney sponsorship. Fuck I just, like, set. I love to do a lot of things that really don't require me leaving my house. Plus, I could probably have a house with, like, big windows. You know? But you don't feel like you'd, you'd get bored or... No, there's so many books to read. Or sad of being inside. So many books. So you're saying you don't need to be out? No. You could go the rest of your life whatever, without ever going to, like... I don't know, any travel destinations you'd want to go to, but... Yes. Yeah? Yeah. What's a, what's a place you'd really want to go to? Well... I've been to Puerto Rico. Tokyo. What if you've never gone to mm. Tokyo? Huh? I don't know. That's a tough question. But I really like my, I really like home, home base. Mm. You know? I like being at home. There's a lot of homey things that I like to do. Okay. You know? Like pouring one for your boys? Pouring one for your homie? No. You say you like doing a lot of homey things. Yeah, like. So play like, Xbox. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's something you could do indoors. So maybe, yeah. Yeah, you go. Play, play a lot of, I had a lot of Fortnite to play. Uh, light off a bunch of fireworks. What else do I do with my homies? Let me call my homies up, see what they're doing. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's ask, let's do another one. Welcome to a new segment, Homie Talk. Um, I don't nah, like that one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you could have complete knowledge of any five things, what would you want to know? Can I cut corners and just say, like, the universe? Then I would know everything. I'm not going to say no to that answer. I don't really want to know everything, though. I don't really want complete knowledge of anything. So what I would like to know about is, like, the things that you need to survive. So, uh, how to, how to, I guess, scavenge, cook, repair. Read. But here's the thing is that those and are language. things that you can actually like learn. I think this question is asking you like if you could have complete knowledge of any five things like that you can't attain in your regular life, what would they be? You know what I mean? Is that what that says here? That's what I'm assuming. Is that what that says? Because you could literally go no, wait, wait, out and learn it, those no, wait, what, Don't assume. What does it say? If you could have complete knowledge of any five things, what I'll would you want I'll fucking leave right know? now, Gilmore. I will get up and I will leave this place. I will never look back. How could you say my? I would never answer? be. You said my. You basically said my answers invalid. I would never be on the podcast ever again. I would leave. I would never talk to you again. Bro, I could do this by myself. I will go. I will move to Antarctica without you. Hey, watch this. Just do this by myself. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to the from our fuck. I miss Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, and that's, that's how that right. would go. Yeah. Um, why don't you like. fucking remember that bitch? If you oh, were yeah, invisible cool. for twelve hours, what would you do? Oh, ha, ha. I would go to a public. Something crazy and just masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, like a public forum or something, or like some kind of meeting to the White House and just masturbate in the White yeah, House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just blow a load on Trump's hair, and he's like, "What is this?" Well, I can't really blow a load, but I'll do my best. I could blow a load. All right, cool. I blow plenty of loads in twelve hours. I think I could blow about four loads in twelve hours. <laughs> you know, I could have said rob a bank, and that would have been probably a lot better. Yeah, why are we? I just like I I think about those things like what if I just fucking blew a load on Trump like right here or just what if I just like got naked right now in front of this person what mm. would they do <laughs> you know I'm pretty sure they'd be like damn you know what I mean well they'd probably think I was kind of crazy especially if it's like out in public they'd be like what the f or like man? I just or I would just you, ooh, oh my god I would go to like a Target or something and I would go up to something like right next to somebody and I would just like scream. <laughs> Like, ah. Yeah, and there's like nobody around them, but somebody just screamed. Why are all my answers like so mischievous? I would um I'd probably start writing on chalkboards. 
Mm, that's a good one. <gasps> Go to like Princeton University and just start writing random nonsensical numbers on the board. And it's like, oh my God, what's happening? This must be some crazy formula for something. It's the Princeton gods. Yeah. Or be like, or write something like scary. Oh, like, I'd, go to of, <gasps> I'd go to oh, church. I'd go to church and start making shit float. So fucked up. Oh my god, that'd be fucking great. You just pretend that like, fuck that. There's dude. like some crazy. I, I fucking know, lift. Yo, up. I'd lift the pastor so people could think he's possessed, and then be like, he's the. I would yell out, "He's a child of Satan." While I'm being, while I'm lifting him up, and then people will start fucking hitting him with crosses or whatever it is they did that uh, Catholics do or whatever. Oh my god, that one's kind of dark. Good nah, one. it's pretty <laughs> sick. I'll pour like holy water on him and. All right, let's move on. <laughs> or we could just rob a bank. Or we just rob a bank, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you ran Google, what would you do differently? I don't know. I have no idea. What is Google doing now? Oh, my God. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that really came up from inside me. Oh, my God. Um, no, I, I can't answer that question because I don't really, like, know. Fuck Yes. What? In the event of a zombie apocalypse, what would your hand weapon of choice be? Probably a one-handed sword. Fuck. Maybe like a dagger? Ooh, I don't know. Because I, I feel like I want to be like crazy, but I feel like in reality I would probably have to be more sneaky, like in real life, because I am weak as fuck. So, <laughs> which is something I'm realizing recently is that my arm strength is very weak. But anyway, so I feel like I would have to have like weapons that would be... Close range, sneak around. You know what weapons I or choose? Or just a fucking bat or something. You know what weapons I choose? What? Bare hands. These babies right here. These are human hands. Uh, all right, let's These move on. fucking babies right here will destroy anything. Just kidding. No, I'd, I'd do a lightsaber. Um, Ooh, anyways, if you could organize a car race, that'd be fucking sweet, huh? Like, I've had lightsaber. Yeah, I wish that lightsabers were real. I should get really Wait, into what, Star not? Wars and be like a, ner- a real Star Wars nerd. Would you still date me if I was a Star Wars nerd? Yeah, I wouldn't care. You're a nerd already, so. Wow. There's that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was fucked up. All if right. you could organize a car race for you and your friends, where would you? You all drive the same car. What car would you pick? I don't know. Fucking Ferrari or something. Wait, why is this phrase like that? If you could organize know. a car race for you and your friends where you all drive the same car, what car would you pick? So you're all racing a car? I, I don't know. Okay, definitely a, a 13-year-old any- wrote this or someone French. I don't know anything um, about cars. Which Ninja Turtle is the best and which I don't know anything the about others? the Ninja Turtles. No, okay. If you die, Sorry, if when you die, you are given the choice between finding out what is next or staying on Earth as a ghost to wander the planet alone for eternity, which would you choose? Ooh, finding fuck. out what happens next. Yeah, dude, I'd be a ghost. What? Why wouldn't you want to find out what happened? Like, what is next? I don't believe. That I don't know. I want to be a ghost. Next, but I want to be a ghost. Uh, Do you believe in an afterlife? Mm. Now, now we talking. Now we fucking Can you just fuck. answer the fucking question? Yo, listen. Hold on, I'm about to spit a freestyle. I'm going to play a beat real quick. So now, um, I think... Great no, I, I think... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think you are... Damn, I don't know, because I feel like I'm not, I can't give a real answer because I don't fucking know. Hmm. Like, my answer would be something stupid, like you get reincarnated into a, something else. You live another life. I don't know. I would hate to live I, another life. I like, don't really believe that there's an afterlife or another life after this. But honestly, like for me to even say that I believe that I know what happens after we die is ridiculous because I have no idea. Do you want to find out? Clue. Are you about to kill me? Huh? <laughs> nah, dude. What the fuck? Um, what? Huh? What? Gilmore's about to kill me, y'all. Con- uh, Condom. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say call 911. Yeah, yeah, sure. But it didn't work. Well, what if uh, Google Home Wait, go- did it? What if she called 911? Oh, my God. I thought you said call 911. <laughs> uh, call 911. <laughs> Sound like a dubstep song, 911. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. That's um, oh, we should make a dubstep song out of that. Anyway, all right. So, yeah. yeah um, if I really think about it, I don't really believe in an afterlife at all. 
I do believe that your energy is energy is neither created nor destroyed. So the energy in your body does not die when you die. It's just dispersed to whatever. So if you're cremated, it's just like burned off into the atmosphere. But there's also like, I don't know. I, I really just don't know. Hmm. Um, I think. I don't know. I think maybe we we die and then we wake up in in an alien spaceship and we're like, fuck. And then they're like, okay, next week, try it again. <laughs> and we just start living again. That'd be crazy. That'd be pretty sick. That's a dope movie. You know what? I'm writing that movie. You can't take Isn't that kind of like The Matrix? No. In some way? You know, I, I have, um, my teacher's name is Kyle Anderson. Mm-hmm. Or he was my teacher's name. I took the final today. I think I passed. Who knows? Killed him? What? What? No, I took the final, so it's like final he's, not what? Really, he's not my like professor anymore. The final shot? So oh, my God. Anyway, his last name is Anderson. So uh, every time I am like addressing him, I always want to be like, Mr. Sure, Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking sweet. Yeah. Uh, imagine if you are on top of a 40 story. <laughs> Why the, the way, fuck story. did they spell story like I'm telling that? telling you, someone French wrote this. S-T-O-R-E-Y. Yeah, someone French definitely wrote this. Imagine you are on top of a 40 story building there is a giant inflatable landing pad at street level. Let me read like a like a French person. It's big enough that you have a ninety five percent chance of jump or surviving the jump. Would you jump off to save a friend's life? I would jump off even if it wasn't to save a friend's life. Ninety five percent chance. That's pretty good. Actually, for the record, I read that like a Russian. But um, yeah, that was weird. But ninety five percent jump. Would you jump off to save a friend's life? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, whoa, all right. In the in the moment. I don't know. It's easier for me to say yeah. True. Because in the it probably in the at the like, at the yeah, moment I don't know that I have a ninety five percent chance of surviving. Well, what this if jump. they tell you, Job, you have a ninety five percent chance of surviving this job. <laughs> I'm like, all You're right, like, I right, yo, I'll do it. That's that's I would probably that's do weirdly it specific. If, How do you know that? But I'll I'll take my chances. Well, yeah. What if it was like a calculated thing? I'm imagining it's like a thing that everybody does, and like ninety five percent people, like you know, like you go skydiving. It's like, oh, jump onto this thing, giant inflatable landing pad at street level. Mm-hmm. You have 95% chance of surviving. Yeah, I would fucking do it. All right, then. Imagine how cool of an experience that is. I think I'll do it. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're going to do an episode where Anna doesn't touch the mic, and that's going to be a sweet episode. Oh, Actually, you're going to be limited to five mic hey touches. Guys, welcome to microphone ASMR. Stop. You always do the ASMR thing when you touch the mic. I'm not cool with that. If for some reason computers have never been invented, do you think the world would be a better place? Explain your answer. No. No. Hell no. Fuck no. This wouldn't be happening. This right is now. the natural progression. I'm. I. I believe of any civilization that starts to exactly progress is computers rocks. and technology. Yeah, rocks, titties, dinosaurs, titties, technology. True. That's the progression. But uh, have you heard of the? I know I've mentioned it to you before. The Kardashev scale. Yes. Civilizations. There's type one, type two, type three. We're like a point seven or whatever. Type one can harness all the energy from the sun. The sun, I think, or from the moon. The the sun. There's from no. Me. There's like no energy coming from the moon. Yeah, there is. Me. Um. Well, except for the, the light waves. being reflected off of it. But anyway, the point is, is that that's like the natural progression of a civilization is to come up with this technology that you can like harness power from other suns or our own sun or galaxies you know in the future that's way in the future but how are we supposed to do that without computers and technology you can't titties you fucking can't computers and technology are inevitable well uh like tony stark or who said that Th- thanos i am inevitable mm-hmm. that's, technology. that's technology yeah yeah technology not fucking playing yeah no yeah that definitely wouldn't be a better place um I, I feel like maybe there wouldn't be you think maybe there 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 would be less self hate and just universal hate if there was if there was no internet? No. You don't think so? No, I think there's been a lot of hate throughout the centuries before the internet. And I think the internet is connecting us as a globe. Like globally we're we're so much more connected to each other than we ever were. Yeah, I feel and like we're I more aware. That, I think that we see a lot of hate, but I don't think there's more hate. Mm. I think we just see it. We just see it now. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think there's probably less. I mean, like, I don't know. There's probably a ton of bad shit that was going on back in the days. But I feel that uh, the internet has um, has kind of taken, 
taken a place or or allowed younger generations to to kind of grow up faster or know more things and than before for example kids nowadays you see all the girls wearing this tiny this ton of makeup and just they look older than they should be mm-hmm. back when we had the internet we barely had it we didn't know about any of that shit i don't know i guess what i'm trying to say is i felt i feel that um kids know more nowadays than what we did back in the day true because you have access to the internet yeah so yeah. so you could probably ask about fucking a 10 year old if they know what a girl twerking looks like and they fucking know yeah that's you know? true I mean, we had access to the internet when we were younger, but I feel like it was just, like, less. Oh, it was so much slower. Slower. It was dumb slow. Less. And I feel like there's more control over it. Yeah, and just know. things are just quicker and faster. Yeah. All right, quicker next question. And faster. What the fuck? Um, if you could buy any existing .com domain, which would it so be? So I realized why they had a section of questions to ask a girl. Because this is mantelligence.com. Obviously. But look, it's actually manintelligence.com. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Well. But I would buy pussypop.com. I would that, buy... Wait, is that a website? Can you find out? Pussypop.com? Great, that's going to be my fucking history now. <laughs> Pussypop. Sorry. Dot com. What if it's porn? Nope. Ooh, it's for sale Pussy though. Pussypop.com is for sale. $5,000. That's some bullshit. Damn. Wait, wait, <laughs> That's let's, fucking let's crazy. try another stupid domain. Um, cockrock.com. Oh, it's not secure. Why is Pussy Pop a thing? What about Pussy... Pussy pop you off this earth. Pussy, <laughs> pussy plop. Bro, pussy Ew, that's plop. disgusting. It can't be reached, which is good. Uh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> what Who the, the fuck, fuck is that fuck guy? Is this guy. And the caption is me, a Mexican. <laughs> if you Google search pussy plop. Why is there so much Mexican stuff on the top thing? It says like me, a Mexican, and then m- me, a Mexican, and then Mexican guy. This guy's face looks so fucking fake. How do you look like this? You know what he looks like? Yeah, he looks like uh, Porky the Pig, but with He a looks beard. like a Snapchat filter. Yes. Yeah. He looks like Porky the Pig, but uh, <sighs> in human form with a beard. All right, let's move on. All right, anyway. Uh, you're fighting a war. You can pick between having a Tyrannosaurus Rex or a tank on your side. Which do you choose? Tank. Yeah? Yeah. But both things can be blown up pretty easily. Yeah, I feel like a Tyrannosaurus Rex is a living being. It's going to be a little easier to... Yeah, also, like a T-Rex, you can't destroy things from a distance with a T-Rex. Like, it needs yeah. to be up close. Up close. Mm-hmm. But don't you think the... Look like, how powerful wait, 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 those wait, wait, thighs like, wait, are. Wait, yeah, par- powerful thighs. Imagine <laughs> if, um, if these people didn't know that... If the other, like, country or whatever you're fighting doesn't know that you have a T-Rex, and in the shock value, they're like, what the fuck... And they start retreating because they're scared. I don't think that's. I think they were just. Fuck it. Take it down. <laughs> Why are you being on so much? Oh, I know. Jesus I'm Christ. Sorry. It's the hot yoga. <laughs> come in here and just fucking yawn. Oh my God. Stop laughing. It's like not, a 50 year old it's man. It's literally not that funny. <laughs> if you had to you get. You yawn more than anybody Ooh, I know. That's a good question. If you had to Dude, get. Wait, you uh, yawn more than my uh, dad and my dad always falls asleep. My dad could fall asleep at a fucking Arby's. Maybe I should and be you, falling asleep then. And you yawn way more than my dad. Jesus Christ, get some rest. <laughs> All right, would you rather... Wait, wh- which one were you reading? Oh, wait, that's a good question, though. Would you rather know all of the languages in the world oh, or know how to play all, all the... Languages, bro. I'd rather know all the languages, languages. in the world, Hell for yeah. sure. Like You know how you could fucking... Oh, you, my God, you could do so much. Yeah. Yeah. Play all the instruments, though. That's fucking sick, yeah. too. But yeah. but the languages thing? Oh, my God. Wait, but the other question. How do you think your life would change if you didn't need to sleep? What would you do with the extra time? Dude, so fucking much. If I didn't need to sleep? If I didn't need to sleep, my life would be so different. I would ha- I would be so much further than I am now. It's crazy. Sometimes I feel like there there are no there's no time left in the day. I know. I and wish I didn't need to sleep. Dude, getting that time? It's like 12 whole more hours every day. Do you do you think that'll affect the way we, we look? 
No, because... Do you think you'd yawn less? If, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if as a species we didn't need to sleep, then there wouldn't be the effects of sleeplessness. The ugly, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, if you had to get 10000 by tomorrow and no bank would give you a loan, what would you do? Suck. Suck mad dick. Suck. Or I would just sell everything. My body. <laughs> <laughs> Who would give you ten thousand dollars in one day for uh, providing a service? I'd probably go to Jim. I'd be like, "Hey, Jim, that's what, our boss." What if um? Shout out Jim, great guy. Yeah, shout please out give me ten thousand. No, I'm just kidding. What if um? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who the fuck would give me ten thousand dollars in one day. Uh, I could like enter competitions and shit, but. You know what? Actually, I'll do that. I'll enter in competition because I'm amazing. I will in them all. So there it is. Yeah. If a person could go to the center of the earth, what would be his weight? 800 pounds. No. 850. Um, I'll well, do you one better. If you dug a hole in the earth and then you jumped in it, you would go to the center and then you would like, you would just basically be like, granted, if you didn't die from the temperature of the core of the earth but you would just like go back and forth um i think oh, fuck i don't know 212 pounds wrong i just did all the calculations in my head because i'm superman and um according to the kryptonite kryptonite-less uh system that i fabricated here um 212 pounds because you do PEMDAS divided by 365 times pi, 212. That's like so wrong. I, I don't even know what to tell you. Oh, that's I, what the system says. My instinct is to say that they would be zero. Because you're right in the center? I don't think that's right. Because I feel like, fuck, what's that equation of what your weight is? It's like F, mass of the one object, mass of the other, over... Your distance from the object squared. Time speed. No. No. Um, and that gives you what your weight is. Or or, or what the strength of attraction is, which I believe is your weight. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever. Let's move on. <laughs> that stressed me out. <laughs> if animals had evolved at the same rate of humans in terms of intelligence, what do you think would be the dominant species on Earth? Gorillas. Well, I have no idea. How am I supposed to know the answer to this question? It's hypothetical. Well, I'm just saying, like, so are they just assuming that humans died off and which animal would be the other one that would have evolved? Anna, you... Because if, if animals evolved at the same rate as humans, w there would be, like... In terms of intelligence, there, what do you think would be the dominant I know what today? it fucking says there. I'm saying that if they evolved at the same rate as humans, there would be a bunch of dominant species. So they're saying which race... Which which race? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I'm racist. Um, which animal, if humans hadn't evolved, would be the dominant species? <laughs> what? If if animals had evolved at the same rate of humans in terms of intelli intelligence? Yeah. All animals. So all animals evolved at the same rate as humans. So all animals and humans are now the same level of intelligence. Yeah. They're all the dominant species. No, because then you have to think about physicality. If if I was, if a, if a, think of it, if a gorilla was as smart as I was, could I beat a gorilla? Could I be more dominant than a gorilla? Okay, I see what you're saying. You know? But... So gorilla. I don't think a gorilla. Gorilla. They are so fucking strong. I don't what, like this question. And which animal would you choose? I don't know. <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> oh, uh, I think a, a gorilla. I think could a gorilla fuck up could a, fuck up a kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, kangaroos sure. are fucking scary. The yeah, like the big ones. Yeah, when they square up, they're literally like. Yeah, they look like me with my shirt off. Um, how sure. would the world be different if humans commonly ranged anywhere from four foot to twelve foot tall? You just have to have taller doorways. That's it. <laughs> um, so that oh, wait. It says through. other than different size doorways, what else would happen? 
bigger cars, you think? Yeah. Bigger cars. You think there would be an own uh, a higher ceilings? A city specifically designed for the taller people? Like the taller people congregate? No, I don't think so. No. I see short people and tall people being like lovers all day, spend a lot of time together, so I don't think so. Mm. No. What do you think would happen if it was somehow proved that there was no God and every religion is pointless. A tough question full of, I don't want, I don't want to answer that. Uh, would you, what do you think would happen if the world, to the world, if somehow one religion was, eh, uh, how would you change Why your life Why are you skipping today? all the religious questions? Because I don't want to talk about religion. How would you change your life today if the average life expectancy was over oh, f- was 400 fuck. years? I would love that. I would get so much more done. I would get so many degrees. Just for fucking fun. Do you think like people would then just have degrees on everyone? Would, yeah, why not? Dude, we every single person on earth would be fucking. Yeah, and crazy I would smart. travel. But how would I change my life today? I don't know. Maybe I would just start saving money so that in a hundred years I could fucking ball out and do some crazy shit. Yeah, like how long do you think we'd stay young for? 200, 300 years? I and don't know. And in the last 100, we kind of be old. Yeah, maybe. Like, maybe the first 200 years, you're kind of young. Mm-hmm. Year 300 through... Mm, 100 to, like, 100 to, like, 150, 200. You're, like, kind of young, getting into your mid... Mid, like, mid, mid 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, 250 to, like, 350, you're getting old. You're getting into your 50s. You're like 35 to 80 or some shit in a way. Sort of. Maybe like 45 to 80. Mm. And then, yeah. That'd be sick. Years you're old. Yeah, yeah I definitely Or like. um, what is more likely to happen than our life expectancy going up further, although probably it will, um, is the um, okay, we'll be able to fix aging as if it's a disease. It's been discussed. So instead of like living for um, 80 years and the last 20 years, you're fucking old and decrepit. Uh, Instead, Mm -hmm. you would um, just be young until you die. Like aging won't be a thing anymore. I think that's how you would extend. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah. Or aging would be... You know, no longer a disease. You would no longer die. Because think about it, That's a disease that causes 100% mortality. You know what I mean? So if we could figure out how to eradicate that disease, then we would live for an, until we died of other causes. Mm-hmm. Whether it be other diseases or other bullshit happening. I don't know. So, yeah. That would be nice. Anyway. Um, how long do you think you would survive if food stopped being shipped and you had to grow it for it yourself? I'd be fine. Yeah, we'd be fine. Dude, I'd be fucking fine. I think everybody would be fine, to be honest. Yeah, if you I don't know everybody how to, has that capability in it, them. Yeah, I feel like if you don't know how to grow something, you'll figure it out. Yeah, you'll fucking figure it you'll out figure when you're starving to death. Yeah. It's fucking easy. Just think about it. If you were kind of taking care of yourself, what do you need? You fucking need sunlight and water. Boom. Yeah. You know, good, a good, stable place to be in. So basically give it a nice stable home. So soil, make sure it's mm-hmm. potted well, whatever. Um, I think that's cool. Get like raised chickens and shit, mm-hmm. you know. Um, sorry, it's a lot of dead air. If you had to be renamed another one of the planets in the solar system, which would you pick? Oh, like take one of the. Oh, no, oh, if you, you mean, had to be if named. I had to... Yeah. What planet would you be renamed after? I would choose. I think I'd choose Venus. Venus. I feel like that's a girl's name. I don't go fuck. I um, want to be Venus. Um, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. I do like Neptune. No, yeah, fuck. I, okay, you do Neptune then. But um, it also reminds me of SpongeBob. Yeah, no, yeah, it does. Yeah, but I, I think Neptune. Well, isn't Neptune kind of their god in SpongeBob? Like, dear Neptune, they said some. No, shit like I that. thought it was like his. 
Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because he's god of the sea, right? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Um, Probably Neptune. Moving on. What do you think the world would be a better... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do you the think f- the world would be a better place if someone like Iron Man really existed? Yeah. True. Well, Tesla is kind of like Tony Stark in a way. Is he not? I don't know. Sure. He's inventing a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But he wasn't... He wasn't a superhero. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. I mean, we know. There's no superheroes. No, superheroes no. don't exist. No, no, no. Okay, well, the point yeah, is, is that, yes, it would be a better world. Yeah, Let's move I'm on. I'm also Superman. No, I don't. Uh, imagine you lapsed, Superman. Imagine you lapsed and cheated on your partner. You felt horrible and you'd never do it again. Would you confess I'm Superman? Uh, one I of the all-time tough hypotheticals. I wouldn't be able to keep it in. But I also would never do that. Yeah, same. You know what I mean? Same boat. It would probably eat me up inside and I'd probably just like jump off of the bridge ship into the oh, oh yeah, bridge makes yeah. more sense, more accessible. Jump off a ship, you're gonna get I on a fucking know. ship. <laughs> you're gonna fucking Yeah. If I ever book as a cruise, you're gonna be like, Anna, do you have something to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you book a cruise? What the fuck? <laughs> Actually that'd be nice. Let's go on a cruise. Also, what's up with this letter you're giving me? What the fuck? <laughs> um, if you were the captain of a pirate ship, I'm the captain now, uh what would you name your ship and what would your title be? Ob- what the fuck? He obviously said you're a captain, so you might tell. Oh, you mean like what would your like Blackbeard? Oh, yeah. So what would my? I would be. I already know. Yellow my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yellow hair. Um, no, I don't know what I would be. Fucking nerd, Captain Nerd. Mine would be a uh, hung. I think you'd be bronze. Hung bronze god. No. Hung. Hung bronze god, there's another ship on the horizon. Yeah, fu- yeah fuck with that. Hung. Hung bronze god. Why do you keep hitting the wrong one, you fucking stupid? Because I had to, like, do this. Um, I think we could take god out of that name now that you keep fucking up. I'll do hung bronze bronze god, and the ship would be called uh, uh hardwood. <laughs> I hate that. No, it makes well, me really uncomfortable. Too bad. It's my ship. Well, Go I'm going to fucking, get the, get the fuck me off. on my planet Mercury... It's a ship, though. Planet Mercury. It's a ship. Ship. Planet Mercury. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense now since you had a ship oh. in front of it. <laughs> and I'm Anna. Right. And we're going to bomb your ship. You can't bomb my ship. I'm it's a hard bomb yo ship, bitch. I'm a fucking pull up next to you, skirt. And I'm going to put down the planks like so you walk across. Right. And my people are going to come over and be like, uh-huh. And then we're going to kill you. We're going to take your shit. We're going to leave. And the bronze guy is going to be dead. <laughs> nah. Dead. And I'm going to I'm gonna cut off. Hey, whoa. Bronze hung god. Bronze hung god. I'm going to cut off your penis so that you're only a bronze god. I'm going to take your penis with me. Impossible. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. It's going to be like a flag. Dude, I'm so hung. It's going to regenerate. I'm going to have <laughs> what, a, flag a, pirate, my dick? a pirate flag. It's a yeah. pride flag. And then your dick. But again, my, in the wind. my dick regenerates, so. Well, hung God forever. I'll just keep cutting it off. Rounds on God till I die. Um, I and think we should test that, whether or not it regenerates. you want to go do that right now? Go into the kitchen? We, we can could just test do it. it here right now. Grab scissors. Um. Oh, what's that fucking video that we saw in middle school? Pain Olympics? Yeah, fuck. All right, let's change it. Oh, really? Is that what you were talking about? I yeah, no, that's okay. what it is. But fucking we need to change something. I don't want to think about that. Blah, 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 blah. Um, if you Even were, though it was just that FX effects right or whatever yeah yeah so uh, it was yeah a let's just tell each, uh, yeah, let's just tell each other that that's what it was <laughs> if you were to have either a teleporter or a time travel machine with teleporter bitch are you fucking kidding yeah me? i was gonna say teleporter fuck as well. that fuck time travel i don't want to fuck with that shit yeah i don't want to fuck with time travel either besides you know, it doesn't butterfly even, effect it's not even whatever. real just dude i would fucking teleport us to middle of tokyo paris a fucking all right we get the point Fucking... I would teleport right over there. Where? Just in the corner of my room. I teleport to my, to my, to job, my, work, my job work. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What would fight... Another language? What, what would win in a fight between a rhinoceros and hippopotamus? A rhinoceros. <gasps> no, but also hippos are <laughs> hippos are badass. Yeah, hippo, but their names are hippos. Hippopotamus. Yeah, you're right about that. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. You can... You can make one change to any Winter Olympic sport and make it more exciting. I don't fucking. <laughs> um, uh, how about this? Uh, polar bears chasing the guys on bobsleds. Okay. 
Um, no, that's interesting. How about this emus playing shuffle? I think that the people that are like racing to see have who's to like, race an emo who's like fast enough. <laughs> yeah, you have to, first of all, there's emus running around. You got to avoid them. <laughs> also, I think we should throw bananas on the track. <laughs> And I think that if you're in the lead, you should get a car. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you just do the rest of the race in a car. <laughs> it's so not fair. And if you hit the other people, it's fine. It's legal. Yeah, you that's the fine. Car. Yeah. Even if they die. Yeah. So, totally they, so then now they're avoiding emus and cars. Emus. A couple people have cars. And bananas. The There's bananas on the ground. Hey, this is basically Mario Kart. So. Yeah. 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 It's, well. So that's what I was kind of going. So for. yeah, to answer our question, change it. There would change, be Mario Kart. Yeah, make it into yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. All right, let's. That's the only way Winter Olympic sports would be in, uh, interesting. Wait, what? If all swear words became socially acceptable, what existing word would you <laughs> use to replace them? Oh, uh, so like instead of saying "fuck," you would say something else. Yeah. I don't know. Skip it. If you could send your I would make up a word. Like what? I don't know. I would just like put letters together and make up a word, but I, I don't think it would be something that already exists. Mm. Mm. If you could send yourself from 10 years ago a message no longer than 20 seconds, what would you say? Stop being a bitch. I would say invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, wait, it says right here invest in Bitcoin. I would say. God damn it. No, you know what? Let me change my answer because it says it here already. Um, I didn't know it's an investment Bitcoin. Um, I would say like everything you're worried about isn't important. Get better grades. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got bad grades. Did you? Yeah. Ten years ago. Wait. Thirteen. Yeah, I was like on the path to getting bad grades. Right. Yeah. I would say uh, don't run over that woman by root one. Anyway. Or like um, care more about science. Yeah. Boom. I All would right. say don't don't kidnap and kill that girl. Don't suck that guy's dick. Just kidding. Don't don't kidnap and hide that girl. Why oh I don't like this is just a stupid question. It's just one of those ones that you ask. Yeah. Uh would a fly without wings be called a walk? Oh, fuck, that's a bad dad joke. These are just dad jokes now. Man. When does it stop being partly cloudy and start being partly sunny? If God sneezes. These are literally just shit. bad dad jokes. You lost your fortune. Everyone turns on you. You managed to get one thousand dollars. What will you do to work? What would you do with it to work on creating wealth again? Um, I'd buy something wholesale and then sell it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Start small. The easy answer is like invest, but I think maybe. I don't know. It depends because it's like, am I homeless? Like, do I have an apartment already? Yeah, that's the other thing. I don't know. There's like a lot of other questions I have about that one. Would you rather one of your dreams come true or two of your best friend's dreams? In a utilitarian world, I would say two of my best friend's dreams. But in my own selfish mind, I would say one of mine. Dude, mine too. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck, fuck my friends. Well, not fuck my friends, but. Fuck my friends. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. This <laughs> I don't really have yeah. a lot of friends right now anyway, so. <laughs> um. So. Wait. Wow, that was very sad. What? Oh, we're, not, we're done answering questions? Yeah, I wanted to talk about something real quick. So, have you been watching any any YouTube videos lately? Some. Oh, wait, what but you, you have YouTube premium, you so, so you don't, you don't, uh, you don't uh, experience what I'm about to talk about. Oh, shit. All right. Here so, we go. What is it? So, every time... Yeah, I pay for YouTube Premium. I need to cancel that. <laughs> like, I I don't need it. Continue. No, trust me, you'd probably get annoyed by the amount of ads that there are in videos now. I still get ads, don't I? No, no. If you get YouTube oh, Premium. Oh no, you don't, I don't you, have ads. You don't yeah, see any ads at all? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um. So every time I watch a YouTube video, this fucking Tony Robbins commercial comes on. Do you know who Tony Robbins is? No. Is this dude that apparently they're having? Which, by the way, I cannot wait till this shit is over. Apparently, there's a New Jersey, uh, like, realtor expo going on in Jersey. What I the just fuck said New is Jersey. a realtor expo? I, I don't know. So fucking stupid. But it comes on all the time, and it's so annoying. And the guy sounds like his voice is knocked down a couple octaves. Do you think you could find it on YouTube? Oh, my God. It should come up right away. Uh, if I go to any YouTube video and I try to fucking watch it, this dude comes up. 
Oh, Jenna Marbles just put up a new video. Oh, it's her cooking. <gasps> Again, she's not playing on. Oh, why isn't it playing? Oh, fuck. I want to watch that. Oh, fuck. I love... Just for the record, Jenna Marbles is probably my favorite YouTuber. Okay, why are there no commercials coming up now? Or ads? You know what? This might be a fucking sick joke. YouTube heard me talking about this it. This is rigged. Just this fucking is... type into the bar what you're talking about. Let me see. Tony Robbins. I think that's his name. Yeah, this fucking guy. So they're they're doing like a an expo. And it oh fuck god damn it! And it comes on every five seconds. Destiny waits. Yeah, this looks really annoying. Yeah, but this guy's voice. Is that his voice? No, this is him right here. That was his voice. Oh, fuck. It's like him when he's yelling. Oh my God, dude. When he's like doing expos and understand. he's like pumping people up. No. Just type in Tony Robbins Expo. Tony Robbins Expos or Exposed. <laughs> All right, yeah, the real estate thing. This shit. I don't understand what a real estate and wealth expo is. But yeah, it's it's so know. it's so fucking annoying. It's just an inspirational speech. Yeah, well, it's a real estate wealth expo. Yeah, I guess they're just there fucking... I don't know why there's, like, fucking cannons coming out and smoke yeah, like, machines. like, what the and, fuck's going on? I didn't know it was and him, like, ever that exciting to do, like, like, Clapping like estate. this for some reason. Oh, that's You not know, okay. he's not doing, like, a like a real clap like normal people do. But, yeah, that shit kept coming up, and I was getting pretty pissed off, and I was like, you know what? Love YouTube Premium. Yeah, I have to I have to let you know how lucky you are to have YouTube Premium right now because you don't have to deal lucky with that bullshit. Lucky I for that shit. Bitch. Yeah, I guess. But Fuck you. I guess no, it's no, worth no. It. You're lucky though. Yeah, I yeah, get what you mean. Definitely worth it. Tony Robbins, stop fucking doing this shit, bro. Yeah, fuck Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins can literally suck my dick. Yeah, I hope that expo is over as soon as possible because yeah. I'm tired of seeing the fucking ads. And uh, yeah, I down or I downloaded Jesus Christ. I decided to do YouTube Premium just so I could watch Vsauce's videos, mm -hmm. and then I was like, oh, I'll just cancel it. But it's been so nice, like, not having ads and stuff that I've just, like, I don't know. I don't even, like, notice the money coming out of my account. <laughs> it's, like, $14 or something a month. 14 like, Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I should probably cancel it eventually. But what the fuck? For now, I'm just kind of living large, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I know, right? God damn. Yeah. You got to really anchor down there and save some money. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm pretty starving. What pretty should we have starving. for dinner? I'm going to go hang out with Richie. Oh, yeah. Nobody's texting me, though. Oh. Well, if that doesn't happen. This is the most boring conversation I have on the podcast. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> Bless you. Anna just finished up her... her. Um, I just took the final exam for my calculus yeah. class this morning. I think I got a pretty good grade. I We had a lot of time to take the test. So towards the end, I calculated what my grade would be. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get a 94. Because there's one question that I, I know I got the whole thing wrong. So that's minus 12. Mm -hmm. The total amount of points you can get is 108. And then there's another question that I know I got part one right. And I got part, or part A and part C right. And I did not get part B right. Although some of my process was correct. Um, uh, and the whole part A, B, and C is worth 12. So I would imagine that the first A, because it was really easy, that part, it's probably only going to be worth like two points. But the last one will probably be worth like five. So seven out of 12. So, um, And then I did the extra credit, and apparently that's usually five points. So, And I know I got it right. I know I got it right. So I'm thinking I'm going to get like a 94, maybe 95, which would be really cool. It's pretty good. Yeah. You get a 94, 95, you might have something coming your way. So, What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I'm going to get punched for getting a uh -huh. good grade? No, that that meant me 
Yeah, I'm gonna punch you. Yeah. Are you making a sexual innuendo? No, nah, no, nah, dude. That's fucking weird. Remember one time I made a sexual innuendo and then you asked me not to say it? No, I wasn't guess? making a sexual innuendo. I was gonna literally beat you up. Just For getting you, a good grade? Yeah, because you think you're smarter than me. And again, I'm Superman. You're not. You random ordinary girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, my brain hurts. I can't do it. Oh, you're gonna yawn again? Huh? No, I think I'm gonna fucking huh? kill you. Mm, yeah, yawn again. <laughs> Oh, so disrespectful. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I can get a third cat now because you were really disrespectful to me. Oh, God damn it. No, I don't Guys, comment down below if I can get a third cat. I'm getting a third cat. I want it. I want it. I want it. I'm getting one. The, uh, wait, you can ask my manager, Renee, the other day when I was working, um, I was looking up cats. <laughs> Why well, just like turn off the podcast right <laughs> Cats for adoption. <laughs> and I always said, don't tell Gilmore. <gasps> um. Oh. Well... It stopped. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're just going to end I it guess here. That's the end. Uh, shout out, everybody. Thank you so much. This for, is the end. Thanks so much for uh, listening My to this episode of of us answering um, of like random hey, questions. On. And then, um, of wait, because when you, when you end the podcast, you can't be doing this. So, all right. So listen. Oh. So you guys will just hear her in the background. Uh, thanks that's so, thanks so much for thanks so that's much. That's a Doors song. If you if y'all don't know that song, y'all can. I don't know. Well, because I have, go, I have to do whatever you're saying. Y'all can listen to that song. To also, hey man. Yes, you have. I've made you listen to that song. If hold on, wait, wait. Why are you leaning up to the camera? Listen, like they can wait, see wait, us. Anna, stop recording. Anna, Anna, yes, they can see us. Are you getting mad at me? I just want to get my point across. Real quick. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Oh if gosh, I if I asked you it. if I asked you have you ever listened to um, Los Bukis? No. Okay, and is it okay for me to go? What you haven't? Is yes. it okay for me to do that? Yes. Why is that? Just kidding. No, it's not because a lot of people do that to me about like movies and books and not books actually. Never okay, books. hold on. Wait. All right. Let's so listen. Oh, fuck. When you guys ask me if if I've ever listened to Bruce Springsteen, or if I've ever listened to Bon Jovi. Or if I've ever listened to any other fucking band from the seventies that the thing is that you have no hold you on you just don't know it and I say no and then you guys go what you who never is, listened to Bon Jovi who's you guys just anybody who's ever asked me that yes dude I didn't grow up listening to that shit does this happen to you all it the happens time? to me all the time so if I'm like if I'm like especially because where I live at now so if I say I, have you guys ever listened to Aventura? Camera, and like then, they can see you. They can't see you. Anna, it's recording. If I ever... Do you see that little red dot? I thought it stopped recording. No. So, you told me it stopped recording. No. So, don't ask me that question. And if you do, don't be surprised if I say no. Yeah, and if you ask me about a movie when I haven't seen it, don't be surprised. And don't act like I'm an asshole. All right, thanks so much, everybody, for watching the fucking podcast. Appreciate y'all. Check out the Patreon. Check us out on Instagram, YouTube. Subscribe to us. Share it. I see y'all out in Canada. Um, I Is see y'all in Canada watching. Yeah, I see y'all in Canada. I see y'all in Cali. I see y'all in New York. I see y'all in Indonesia. We always do you think international. It's, do you think it's Drake that's watching us? No, it's definitely Jane Trey from For Y'all. Yo, hell yeah, For Y'all. That'd be sick. Um, but if. If you guys out in Canada, let James try to know to watch our shit for me because they're the boys. Um, now the on to the compilation. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, enjoy this episode and check out our other episodes and check out the Patreon and have a great day. And I'm going to wake Anna up somehow. All right. Peace.